Okay. Assalamu alaikum. So I'm going to show you in brief how to use the automated microtome. As you remember, um, the rotary microtome is just composed of a wheel, okay? And this wheel moves the block holder, and there is the knife holder here, and the other things, they are just the other components. So these were just the usual rotary microtome that you already worked on, and you know how to work, okay? Now, these ones, because people, they like automation, and they like to make the life easy of the technicians, they did these ones in an automated setup here, okay? So instead of controlling the thickness through these knobs, there is an um, uh, uh, electronic board, and there is these buttons here. We can control the cutting, the thickness, okay, and the movement of this one, of the block holder, through electronic board, and also the speed. So this is just the main difference between the rotary microtome, the manual one, and the automated one. Okay, now with this one, it got the same, the wheel, and the wheel is equipped with a um, uh, uh, um, uh, locking mechanism that it will be providing the safety. So now it's unlocked and it can move. By the way, you can use it as a usual manual rotary microtone. Okay, now it's locked, so it won't be moving. Now, with the knife. So the knife stage, the same also principle as the manual one. There is these knobs. I can um, move the tilt of the knife. I will just tighten it. I can also um, uh, loosen the place where I put the knife. I can also move the knife right and left, uh, forward and backward, and also right and left, which should be, um, which one, this one maybe? Yes, okay, tilt and movement. So this is just the same idea, the same as the manual microtome. Regarding the block holder, also it's the same idea. So you can place your block and tighten it here, like this, okay? And then just, it will be hold there. Okay, so we were talking about the block holder and the block just in the position and also we can, the same as the mechanism that's, that was in the rotary microtome, we can control the tilting, the uh, facing of the block toward the knife. Now here there is no knife, so it's safe. Again, we need to cover this one. So the same here, I just lose this one and I can control the movement of the surface of the block so that the main aim is to make it facing the knife after the trimming so it will be just cutting the full surface of the knife of the block okay now this is we talked about the knife holder we talked about the block holder now let's just show you the electronic um, controllers on this one so here we can control the speed I will show you when it's on faster slower cut mode okay now these forward backward arrows they are the ones that you can control the advancement of the block in relation to the knife see it's moving okay electronic now as you remember, with your cutting with the uh, manual microtome, sometimes the block might go advance toward, you need to bring it back. So you use that coarse knob at the, um, at the side, okay? So with this one, there is no coarse um, wheel. What's there is just this button here. Once you press on this button, it will Retain back the whole block holder to the last end. Okay? Then, we go to here, a trimming mode. Once you press on it, it will change on the screen into trimming mode from cut to trim. And also the thickness will be changed from 6 or 5 micrometers 
into 30 micrometers which is thicker sections okay slow mood it will be just slowing the mood and here you can increase or decrease the sections here the section thickness see here it's increasing the thickness or reducing the thickness okay here you can change the mode of the cutting so um, it won't change here I need to put on cut okay just trim okay cut now the mode that's need on it need to be on so that it will I will show you the mode now I will turn it on it's now on this is the speed you can control it with your touch okay and now here it's showing single you can change the mode to window or continuous what do we mean by these ones so single means that every time it will cut it will cut only one single section now I turn it on I press on start but it didn't work I will do it again start again and it's turning off do we know what's the problem here so people who saw the demonstration they should know what's the problem you need to remember that you need to unlock the safety mechanism here so that the wheel will be moving now it can move I will turn it on again and here we go so it cut single section I will change it to window so with the window you need to set the beginning of the cutting and the end of the cutting so you are cutting within a window of cutting this will save your time especially if you have blocks with small surface then continuous it's just continuous cutting it will keep cutting and remember I can control the speed of cutting okay so this is the electronic control of the microtone I will just stop it so once you stop it it will make a full move to the last position which is the default one now with this one we know how this uh, machine is working let's say while you are working there is something problem happened okay so it's now working and for some reason you want to stop it and sometimes you might be missing up these ones so the safety mechanism all the time we have is this red button here so I want to stop it suddenly I press on this one and it will emergency stop okay in order to release it back just I need to turn it on and it will be released and then you need to turn it on again now regarding the trimming and the alignment it's working just the same as what we did in the manual microtome so what you need to do you need first to install the knife so here we go you need to be careful when dealing with the knife okay and then I need to insert the knife here in the position uh, where is it okay uh, just is it this, this one remember it's much better to use wooden sticks with the knife to put it in the position and never use a metal things when you are dealing with the edge of the knife this will make marks on it then I tight the knife position and then the first thing I do just I cover it with the safety cover here now I'm ready to do the alignment so what I'm going to do I'm going either to move the knife toward to be near to the section or I need to move the section forward so here what I'm going to do is just I'm moving the knife a little bit backward so that it will be near to the section and then manually I will just move this one a little bit down so that I can bring this one to the closest I can to the section again I need to remember all the time to tighten everything and then with the controllers I will move the knife uh, the, the block to be just as near as possible to the knife so we can have a look from up here and you can see how this one is aligned 
with the knife. You can tell if they are parallel, then there is no need for alignment. If there is some one, one, one area got shorter distance and the other one got longer distance with the knife edge, then here you need to do the alignment. So with the alignment, we need to remember, I retain back the block, okay? And I cover the knife and then I loosen this one and then I need to look at the position of the block in relation to the edge of the knife okay so this way it will be sort of aligned and I tight this again and then I will start with the trimming mode because remember it's not exactly at, uh, next to the blade so just I will change it to trimming and I will start so it's a bit slow mode so I will just make it fast till it will reach to the surface of the block now it reaches I will be just slowing this one and see how we are advancing are we cutting from the full surface or maybe one side of the block okay so with the with the slow mode cutting we can see that it's only cutting from the lower part of the block here so what i need to do is i need to do a little bit of alignment to make it cutting from the full surface so i will stop the cutting okay and I'll just move this one and then again as we remember with the trimming I need to bring back the block a little bit and remember the lower part was a little bit advanced and the upper part was behind so what I need to do is to bring this back a little bit and this one forward a little bit Okay, so this is right left I won't do anything and just so this is the other way so I make it worse I need it to be so lower you need to see how it's going back okay a little bit okay now we need to check again So just I need to make sure now I am for the for the first sections. I need to bring it closer to the knife again. And then I start just with trimming again. I will increase the speed till it get from the surface of the section. So it started. Now I need to slow it down. Here, what we can see is that it started to cut from the nearly the full surface of the section. See, one more section. Remember, this is trimming mode, so that's why the sections they are thick. Okay, so I changed the trimming mode to cut mode. Okay, and it's now a bit fast, so I just reduce the speed see here now okay and here you go it's cutting through the full surface you can see the tissue at the middle okay and here you go now you are producing a ribbon of sections okay now later on we need to put them on on, on a water bath or maybe with a drop of ethanol if you remember that trick ethanol on the slide and then we load them into the slide thank you